Hello, welcome back to an another video on Power Mill 5 axis tutorial. And in this one, uh, we are going to see the second example of from curve tool axis definition. So for that, we do have an example here. So if you closely look up this one, actually, there is an undercut available here. Actually. So we cannot able to do it in a three axis. Or uh, if you go further, you want to be finished in three axis, you need some special tools like uh, lollipop tool or maybe some uh, some tip radius T slot cutters actually. So for that, uh, if you closely look this under uh, that undercut shading actually, you can see that there is a red uh, color is highlighting here. It shows that it is an undercut actually, okay? So what we are going to do is we are using a ball nose tool actually. So and uh, you're using from curve option. So for that, uh, I do have a pattern here uh, to specify the tool axis for a from curve option. So the pattern is just created exactly at the center of the profile. And I just lifted up some distance actually. Okay, so it is, uh, it's up to, up to the profile, whether you want to go further up or further down actually. So for this, I'm using uh, again a surface finishing strategy because it is a single uh, surface. If you select this, it's a single surface. And uh, actually, if you go into that uh, tool option, I selecting the tool, it's a ball nose and uh, you can preview it how it looks like. So I would like to go for uh, this format, okay? And under the tool axis, uh, you have from curve option. Okay, so the curve which I selected is here actually, the one I used in here. So if you go, go and calculate the tool path by selecting the surface, here uh, we are using the curve to control the tool axis. Okay, so if you go and simulate it, okay, you can see that it is moving uh, in, uh, in this format. So you can look this also okay so what it is having here is it's just go and touch the uh, undercut region also actually that's what about importantly we are highlighting here so if you look at closely about this point okay so tool path simulate from here you can see that it is covering the undercut region actually so it's tilted actually so, and if you look at the tool axis it is just follows the curve one at the same time the other end Again, the same, it touches the maximum uh, point and it is tilted this way actually. So if you look at the whole profile simulation and uh, it will go uh, in this format. So it is follow the curve at the same time, it just um, created the surf, uh, tool path over the surface. So in this fashion, you can able to uh, create a tool path using a, a from curve option uh, particularly when you do have a uh, uh, profile like undercuts uh, or maybe uh, some engraving format, you can able to go using this uh, from curve option. This is an, a second example. We will uh, see in the third examples also. Uh, 